Here's what we can tell you right now. It happened in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood. That is a largely Jewish community, and it happened at the Tree of Life Synagogue. It is the largest conservative congregation in that area. It was actually formed more than 150 years ago, and in 2010, two Pittsburgh congregations merged to form the Tree of Life congregation. So this is a huge congregation. It happened during the 9.45 a.m. Shabbat. It is the most attended service of the entire week. Uh, we also know that from local media, Media reports up to 12 people were shot. We're hearing eight are confirmed dead. Three uh, officers were also shot. And hearing that some officers who were responding to the scene were forced to even use their vehicles as a shield. We're hearing that the shooting happened in the basement of the synagogue and people were found both in the atrium and in the basement. Uh, we heard from the former president of the synagogue that in the past, security had been an issue for them. And they were working with the Department of Homeland Security to try to find ways to secure exits and entrances. So there was a huge police response in that neighborhood while uh, authorities were trying to ascertain whether or not there was only one gunman or if someone may have made it outside of the building. Uh, heard just a little while ago that the shooting is now considered to be over, that the suspect surrendered. Um, but it was a, a very chaotic time. We do have uh, a soundbite that we got just a little while ago. It's their last report from police on the scene. This was within the last 20 minutes. Let's take a listen to that. So at this time, um, the suspect in the shooting is in custody. We have multiple casualties inside the synagogue. We have three officers who have been shot. And at this time, we have no more information because we are still clearing the building and trying to figure out uh, if the, if the situation is safe, if there are any more threats inside the building. So that's all we have at this point, but the shooter is in custody. We have multiple casualties and three officers shot. Thank you. Can you take a step-by-step? -step no, I can't take you anything right now. We're, we're being told. I can't. So we know that the governor and um, Senator Bob Casey are heading to the scene right now. Uh, they were rushing to that area. We also heard from the president a little while ago. There's a tweet from him. It says, quote, watching the events unfolding in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, law enforcement on the scene, people in Squirrel Hill should remain sheltered. Looks like multiple fatalities. Be aware of active shooter. God bless all. We know that since the president tweeted that the active shooter uh, was taken into custody. So we're, we're still learning, waiting to learn more about the motive behind this, of course, uh, no identity has been reported yet for that shooter, no, no motive, uh, but we do know that it is the largest conservative uh, majority synagogue in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood and has uh, uh, hundreds of members. So we're, we'll be waiting on additional updates from police on the scene there.